Welcome to the first lesson of Modeling Basic Skills. This course is the first one of a bunch or group of modeling courses that will start from basics to advanced. You should know before you start this course that this course is dedicated to those who have limited knowledge in modeling basic skills in 3ds Max or in 3ds applications in general. So if you have a good understanding of modeling techniques, just skip this course and follow up with the other courses. First question you need to ask yourself before you learn modeling in 3ds Max. Do I need to use the techniques of modeling every single time I create a model in 3ds Max? Do I need to modify things to modify objects so I can create a model like that one you see in this rendered photo here a basket of flowers a simple one of course but still it has uh, these faces it has these flowers do we need to model it from scratch the answer would be no if you are aware of what's available in 3ds max assets objects foliage flowers everything if you know different modifiers sometimes you may not need to use detailed uh, from scratch modeling techniques such as extrusion insertion and so forth so in this lesson we will create this model you see in this photo without really modeling anything but we will make use of what's available in 3ds max assets so let's close this photo and this is the file i used actually for rendering let's create a brand new one from file new new all of course i won't save it let's go to home page perspective view and from create menu i go to geometry i select standard primitive and i will create a simple tea pot i will go here in the middle and I will start creating my teapot. Of course, the teapot comes with all other options, but because that was the last modification I did, it keeps it for the next time you create the teapot. And same for every detail in 3ds Max. So let's create a teapot, just like the one you see here, and let's see what's, uh, what are the parameters we have that we can change in it. First, we can change the radius. Let's um, give it an, an amount of 25. Change the segments, something like 10. And here you got these parts of teapot. You got the body, you can remove it. You got the handle, the spout, and the lid. For this tutorial, I need to create a basket of flowers. So I won't need to handle spout or lid. That's all I need. Okay, so that's phase one of my project here. Second, I need to change it, the phase, the uh, curvature of this, of this pot. If it's not a teapot right now, it's just a pot. I need to change its curvature, how it looks. So I will go to modify from the modifier list and I will pick taper. You will find modifiers arranged based on alphabetical order. So it's easy for you to know the first letter of the modifier you need and scroll down until you find it. Let's see what parameters we have on taper modifier. We have amount, curve. We have the possibility to create some limit effect on the upper or uh, lower sides of it. I won't ch change this now. You will see it in another tutorial. Let's uh, modify the amount and curve for now. If we scroll this up and down, that's what we get. I need it to be like a basket. So I need it to be in a minus or a negative value. Let's make it negative 15. And the curvature, I need it to be a little bit curvy. So not much, just... 0.1 will be fine so that will be the shape of my basket next I need to see this if we still have the uh, 
render image i need to, to get these these pieces here but um, i'm not i'm not going to modify each single polygon no i need something that creates a symmetry a symmetrical uh, shape of these uh, pieces if you can call it pieces so here i will use another modifier and for your information it's uh, it's good for you to know the appropriate arrangement of modifiers if you are going to use more than one so here i need to make the taper before i use the lattice modifier okay so here at the letter l i use the lattice and that's what you get let's change the color let's make it something dark something like that it's okay so you can see that's what you get at first it gives you both joints and stress if you activate one of them none the other and in this case i will activate only stress because i don't need these joints i need it to look like uh, like like this shape of basket now you you need to change the parameters of your thrust uh, we can change the radius let's make it three for instance and the segments i'll leave it to one so it's it can be easy for me to render this sides four is fine if you make it uh, some number odd it will uh, look weird like this let's make it five look what we get we get some weirdness here if you see that so let's make it even four four is fine skip material id and for the joint there will be similar parameters but it's deactivated because here i picked to apply a stress only from edges so that's my basket i didn't do any extrusion no selection no polygon no vertices i just used what's available in 3ds max okay next step is to add flowers or plants anything that can be available in the aec extended you can find the foliage system available in 3ds max you can find trees among other different plants and here i can find something suitable to this these two are fine i can use this one society garlic i don't know exactly what society garlic is you place it right click to deselect go to modifier or modify and change parameters like like height let's make the height something cool like 35 and then we can push it down like that density you can raise it that affects the number of flowers as you can see here what we change it number of flowers change seeds the, the more you change the seeds i don't know exactly how that uh, affect the plant but it affects how it look in general for you here you can modify things like leaves if you want the plant without leaves truck and that works for for trees you won't see the effect here fruits if you have fruits in your tree flowers roots and branches okay that's it for this tutorial of course you can change material but we will talk about material uh, let's go to top view and adjust ouch they are far distance from each other let's adjust it to center just like that okay let's get back to perspective and of course we need oops, we need to raise it up just like that maybe it's too much long yeah that's um that's fine that's it for this tutorial follow up with me for the next tutorial